mid plane. Ah, one thing, and I've seen this in multiple problems before, is like you got this part up here, so I can maybe patch that up. That's where the rib feature really helps. Wonder. Oh, yeah, see, zero thickness geometry. Okay. I think this part's supposed to be a metric. No! Oh, it does say on the drawing. It does say on the drawing. Okay. Dimensions are in millimeters. You know what? Uh, definitely did not take a close enough look at this drawing. I have a little bit of an advantage going back in there, but I want to do this again for you guys. We're going to do a take two in a little bit. Okay, so this is actually take two. Uh, last time was more challenging than I thought it was going to be. Um, so I have a better idea of getting started in the 2001 Model Mania um, of what I'm going to do. I think a lot of it's going to be the same technique. I could probably use some um, contour selection. Um, but I have my PDFs downloaded here. Uh, I haven't taken a peek at the uh, phase two yet. Um, we'll do that when appropriate. So, without further ado, we have 20 minutes on the clock. Um, I have my part open in SolidWorks. Um, so let's go ahead and start the clock and get going on the part. And we're going. So, starting on the right plane, um, we'll use contours here. So we'll do that initial sketch. Um, let's go ahead and add some dimensions here just to get going. Oh, but remember, this is in millimeters, so we will switch that to MMGS, double click the sketch, gets us right back in. Now I know I'm at 20, and the length there is 64. All right. Now, building this up, what am I going to do? Well, I can just do my line and kind of just build this out. Arc transition, tangent. Um, let's go ahead and add in some of the initial dimensions that we know. That is 15. Um, there's not much else that's known here on that back edge. Um, what I do know, though, is this line, that line, and that line are... Or I should say there is an offset there of, um, there's a thickness there, 12. Looking at the drawing, reverse direction, that gets us there. We can close this off at the top. Um, and depending on how far we go, right, there's going to be a line then there at some point. So let's go ahead and draw in a center line. Don't know exactly where it is yet. It is perpendicular, so we'll add that relationship. Uh, let's add some other dimensions here that we know. So to the top of that point, um, I have to look at this sideways here, and I guess I could use Alt and rotate this around to get the make this a little bit easier on myself. From that point to that point is 146, and from the point to that line is 64. All right, what else do we know? Uh, what else do we know? We know that there is, um, yeah, the distance from here to there, double it up because that's the diameter, that is 64. Uh, we know that the angle between that center line and that line there is 45. And what's under defined? So again, if it's blue, we can drag and drop. And again, it's this, this height. Um, what controlled that for us? What is controlling that for us? take a peek at the drawing. What What is driving that? So we have our 144, we have our 60, 146, 164. We can put in some of this radius work. I don't know if that's going to help us. Um, 32, I think that was the one. So 32 for the height, and that's offset there. So from that point, I think it's just length of that line, right? 32? Yeah, that, that fully defines it there. So 
there we have our fully defined sketch but are there other profiles in that drawing that I want to add in now um, sure we could do some revolving um, there let's go ahead and I may do that I don't want to get too complex here in my sketch I tell you what I have a fully defined sketch here I'm gonna keep this and then move forward with it so I don't make this sketch too complex so with that single contour, we're going to do a mid-plane. Uh, the depth there is 96. Awesome. Let's show that sketch back there. Don't want to edit it. Misclicks cost you, but they do happen. <laughs> Boss extrude on that profile. Again, mid-plane. And we have the depth there at 64. Okay, um, let's round the top. So we'll do a fillet. We'll do a um, full round. So I can select once, right click, select twice, right click, select the last one. Now I have my full round at the top. Um, one thing that I could do with my template here is increase that model display, excuse me, image quality, just to smooth this out a little bit so it looks better. Create a sketch there on the front. Wake up our reference geometry there right in the middle. That is 52. Boss extrude that. I could go up to that point. Um, actually, in fact, I will. Let's go ahead and do up to vertex. It's up to that one because that one is 32 off. Now I can create another sketch on there. Wake up geometry center point this is our hole the diameter of which is 32 extrude cut through all okay um, so we're looking good there we need our rib uh, we need our holes as well I'll tell you what we're on the same face here let's um, use hole wizard um, by pre-select the face here that's so that's going to default into 2d sketch um, so we want the counter bore we're doing ANSI metric here, and it's going to be an M6. We'll go to positions, one, two. I think what the type needs to be through all, though. Blind, through all. There we go. Let's go normal two. Well, let's go to the top. Positions tab. And our dimensions. So we have what this horizontal distance of 60 between them distance from the edge of 18 vertical distance over here 32 um, but we know that these are horizontal fully defined click OK so we have those holes um, so we still need to add fillets but also need to add that um, add that rib And the width of that rib is what? We know we have this 26 offset. Looking at the drawing, I don't see it. I don't see the width there. How much time do we have? 12 minutes, we're doing okay. Um, tell you what, well, let's sketch it out. So let's go to the right plane. Can't think about it too long. Um, I'm going to take this edge, that edge, that edge, and we'll do a convert, and we'll do an offset, offset entities, reverse, our thickness there is what, 26, connect the dots, up there, down here we have a different story, we're going to do a three point arc. Uh, start there and somewhere like that go there and put in the radius which is 55 now it's not fully defined why not uh, what happens oh we want of course that and that to be tangent now we have fully defined sketch 
power trim that out, add a line. I could convert any of these, oh well, too late. Already selected my line tool. Now I have my closed profile. And some of you may be saying, Michael, what about the additional geometry you're going to add there in the middle? Um, I don't know. Let's see what I can do with it. Mid plane, what, 10 millimeters, you think? Fifteen? I'm looking for the dimension, I just don't see it. Do you? What's the thickness of that? Let me know in the comments. I don't see it. What does fifteen look like? Fifteen looks okay. Let's stick with fifteen. Um, what am I going to do with these faces here? Well, there is a delete face feature. Delete face. So I can select our internal faces and just delete and patch, show preview, no, delete and fill. Yeah, that got most of it. Can we do a tangent fill? Close. It's not exactly the best. Tell you what, let's delete that. I don't like having that face in there. Um, I drag this up to there. Now it's cut away from our hole. Looking good. Um, how much time do we have? 10 minutes. Okay. Fillets. What's our size? Two. And we are applying it to practically everything, but if I select that, let's kind of see what this gives us. Yeah, with the exception of that one, oops, that one and that one. I think, oh, we also have around here, that and that. But we don't want that one, so we do turn off, oh, that's going to be painful. Well, I mean, that's as close as I think I can get it. How much time do we have left? Three minutes. Oh, man, this is pushing it. Okay, so I think I've got it for the most part. Um, I'll come back and take a closer look, see where I may have messed up. So let's switch over here. So we've got some dimension changes. Um, it's hard to tell which one has changed. So I guess we kind of have to go by each one. If we do... So on the left hand side everything is staying the same on the bottom all that's staying the same what we got 2146 so we got 45 and 55 45 and 55 let's see what we can do so this one is now 45 <laughs> okay and 55 what failed? Our fillet did. That's when it breaks. Time up. Sorry guys, I failed this one. Um, yeah, let's take a little break. I will take a look and see what I can do and we'll follow up with the solution. Alright, so taking a look at what we could have done better. Um, I think, you know, for the most part, building this up, I did I did pretty good. Um, but taking a look at this example here, yes, I could have used the rib feature. Um, and looking at the rib feature here, you know, doing a uh, thickness of 12 millimeters, you know, looking at the drawing, I don't know where do you think we got 12 millimeters, just because it was the same as the wall thickness there on the back. Uh, I don't see any notes. I mean, you guys tell me where I missed it. Um, anyway, so yeah, obviously not there. But if we take a look at um, what else we could have done differently, the fillets. Um, this is interesting, just kind of the order of the fillets, uh, where we did some of the um, single segments. And then you can see kind of how we build it up and how it treats those corners so that. Yeah, we did one side and then the other, um, how that treats it. Um, but if we look at 
phase two here. This kind of builds up now. I've already rolled back past some initial fillets, but take a look at what happened here. Now I don't know if if field expert would help you um, or not. So we had the, yeah, could have applied a fillet there. So the outside edge, the around the boss, at the top, and then downstream here, where is this fillet? Yeah, that's on the rib. And then two down the bottom to round those, and then finally there in the corners to kind of round that out together. So yeah, this one was tricky. A lot of different fillet work. Um, I don't know. Hopefully, in the few next ones, fillets will be a little bit easier. We don't have to worry about the order of which. But I definitely think that's where I could improve on on this one. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed and picks up some good tips on Model Mania from 2001. Uh, click here up there somewhere to take a look at the playlist and also um, have another one there for the next video. Uh, please consider subscribing and watch me as I go on this journey preparing for Model Mania at SolidWorks World 2017. We'll see you on stage. Bye-bye.